Welcome to Life in the SHL episode 13 and today's kind of a weird Monday game day. Uh, we play down in Malmo so we're gonna have morning skate at home then we're gonna bus, fly to Malmo and play the game and then fly back home after. But we're currently on a 12 game point streak and third in the standings so hopefully keep it rolling tonight and if you do want to support the channel there's a join button you can become a member there's a bunch of perks like uh, early access to videos and then Q&A live streams all that kind of good stuff and also all the links in the description there's official merch and all that kind of cool stuff so make sure to check that out and I think it's time to get the day rolling Patrik Westerholm spelbar i det läget. Westerholm fylls det på med Sylvegård där borta och det är en jätteräddning av Kaskiso. Det är en jätteräddning av Kasimir Kaskiso när Emil Sylvegård kommer fri mot Leksandsmålvakten. Rohoma som missar den där mottagningen öppnar den här möjligheten för Söderberg och nu kommer också 1-0. Ryan släpper ner för Söderberg och för Ryan igen. Joakim Ryan söker skottläget men hittar Kaskisås Blockhandske. Östman. Ja, det där är en fin aktion och det är en höjd arm igen. Och då kommer 2-0 Joakim Ryan. Under ytterligare en avvaktande Leksands utvisning så kliver han fram Joakim Ryan. För Östman med fina framspelningen till 2-0 målet. Westerholm. Spelar för Sylvegård. Och där kommer en reduceringspuck från bakplan. Och det är Tobias Ekberg som sätter 2-1-pucken för Lexa. Camper för Verino. Camper vill ha tillbaka den där pucken. Det blir Roma och den där gången hittar han det öppna nätet. Det är 2-2 Mikael Roma. Får också passningen men blir ensam mot 2-3 vitklädda. Men titta på den där aktionen. Den pucken hos Boma. Boma utmanar Boma! Och den där pucken är i mål, men där går shout från domarna. Och då är det väl videogranskning på sparkrörelse, Carl Persson. Och det är en sparkrörelse och ett icke-godkänt mål. Martin Karlsson. Karlsson hittar in för Jon Knuts och då är det kvitterat. Jon Knuts gör 3-3. Hittar den där passningen. Erik vinner framför Alsenfeldt. Går upp via Kato. Carter Camper är spelbar. Men Matt Kato gör mål på egen hand. Och här kan Heinemann gå mot den tomma kassen. Och då kommer också mål nummer fem från Leksand. Emil Heinemann i Tombur. Uh, but, uh, good game and nice goal, Max. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
5-3 win over Malmo on the road. Um, definitely not the easiest game to uh, to play with the, the same day flight and all that kind of stuff. We got to the rink a little late as well. So, uh, But able to get the three points. We were kind of on the ropes in the first period. Maybe it was the travel, who knows. But uh, they were up 2 nothing after the first. And then uh, second and third, we kind of... Well, in the second period, we got two quick goals. Kind of just uh, tied the game. They scored to go 3-2, and then we tied it right away. And then five minutes at the end, Matt Cato throws one from the point and, is, and ends up being the game winner for us. And 5-3 uh, was the final. So point streak is currently at 13 games, which is, which is crazy. And we are number one in the league. And that's, that's a big thing for, for us, the guys in the locker room, the management, the staff, and the fans. I know it's... Uh, for a small town like Lexington, like it's a big deal to be be number one in the league and the best team in one of the best leagues in the world. So we're uh, very happy about that, but we know we need to be even better to uh, stay at the top, and that's the goal. Personally about the game, um, they had a lot of shots, especially in the first period, I think 17 maybe, and then finished with 39 shots against, which is nice. I love when there's a lot of shots. Just kind of keeps me involved the whole game. But the first goal, they actually scored shorthanded. Uh, the guy shot high, kind of caught me right in the mask up here. Didn't really know where the rebound went. Hit RD right in front, and then the guy was there with the rebound to put it in. Second goal, they were on the power play. Delayed penalty was coming. They were able to uh, make a nice pass in the middle. Their D just walk in. And I was, I was drifting out a little bit. We kind of talked about that with my goalie coach, uh, if I should have stopped or just kind of drift out and take more space. But uh, I think I made the right decision, just trying to close out the angle as much as I can. But he ended up beating me with a shot. And then in the second period, third goal, uh, <laughs> another shorthanded goal, actually. So they scored two, two goals shorthanded, um, kind of just dangled in and changed the angle and uh, the puck kind of flipped on the stick like this, so it was harder to read the release, but I was a little off on my angle. I should have adjusted more on the on the line of the puck, but, uh, but yeah, the guys were able to pull through and uh, get the win even though I let in three goals, so that's a, that's a big win for us, and like I said, it feels good to be number one in the league. But another thing about yesterday was uh, Team Finland, posted their rosters and playing for the national team is kind of a, a dream of mine along with uh, playing in the NHL like I was able to do two years ago, uh, make my debut. Uh, national team and Team Finland is the, is the next biggest thing on the list I would say and I uh, wasn't chosen to that team. I feel like I played, played well enough to uh, at least be in consideration but how the how it works is there's four mini tournaments. Uh, it's called Euro Hockey Tour with Finland, Sweden, Russia, and Czech Republic uh, playing four tournaments throughout the season, and then obviously Olympics this year is for the <laughs> mostly for the NHL guys, and then World Championships at the end of the at the end of the season. So definitely a goal of mine to uh, hopefully this year play good enough to be chosen for Team Finland and play play for Finland, that's uh, definitely a big dream of mine, so hopefully uh, that happens in the future, but just want to give a shout out, I believe Kalle Schalin was chosen for Team Sweden, so he's been great, scoring a lot of goals from the point and played solid defensively, so he got the call for Team Sweden, uh, so I'm excited for him, and good to see him uh, kind of get rewarded for his good play, but uh, it's a busy week. We have three games this week, obviously the first one's done from yesterday, and then Thursday uh, we're at home against Euro Gordon. so the Stockholm team's coming to town. Should be almost sold out, I hope, and then Saturday we go down to uh, Vakha, play the reigning champs, and then, then it's break, kind of a national, national team break, whatever that is, um, four or five days off. So it'll be uh, nice to get get off the ice for a little bit, and since it's been a lot of games recently, so nice little break. But we gotta get take care of business for the rest of the week, and 
And for now, I'm just going to enjoy world's best coffee, Traction Coffee. So shout out to the boys in Colorado for making the best coffee. So, But that's it. I've been talking for too long, and we move forward to the next game. This week's episode is going to be split into two since uh, three-game week, and next week is break, so not much hockey stuff going on next week. But before I wrap this one up, I wanted to do a couple questions from the comments. So the first one is, uh, where can I watch your games? Um, so the best way to watch the games in the SHL would be through seymour.se. That's the Swedish side, so I think it's going to be in Swedish. So if you can na get navigate through that, um, you should be able to watch the games. You might need a VPN. I think it's like 50 bucks a month to get all the games. Um, the sport package through Seymour so that's the that's the legal way and the official way to watch the games the second question is where can I get your jersey so this one's I've gotten a lot of DMs and stuff like that on how to get the jersey I think you might be able to contact the team store and they should be able to um, help you if if you want to get it shipped internationally also one way to go about it uh, I talked to Whitney so just DM me or my wife Whitney at, at by underscore Whitney and, and we can help you through the process I know it's not easy to get it shipped internationally and customized and on a Swedish website so uh, we'll do our best to help you out if you were interested in buying um, my jersey and maybe even get it signed and the last question for the week is what turned you into vegan so obviously there's a lot of reasons did some research um, overall better for my health my performance and obviously with that comes all the animal rights and sustainability for the planet and all this kind of stuff so the more more I read about it and more research I did the more it made sense and obviously the biggest reason I think for our family is that our daughter Fox has this um, rare metabolic disease. It's very mild on her case, but um, it was detected on newborn screening in Toronto and uh, the doctor said she was supposed to be on meds for life and kind of a protein allergy is one way to um, say it. And then we were, we turned into vegan for like six months and they re ran the tests and all her all her numbers were way better than they were so the doctor said she doesn't need her meds anymore so that's that by itself it's big enough reason for for us to be vegan and go plant-based and obviously with that comes all the other stuff like the animals and the planet so just trying to chip in and do our part and uh, go plant-based and do a healthier healthier lifestyle that way so next episode we'll have the two games which is uh, Deer Gordon and Vacro on the road. It's a little spoiler, um, we're in Vacro right now, we're filming this, but then it's off to uh, national team break. We get like four days off, but I'll do more of the Q&A stuff. So drop your questions below and your questions might be featured in the future vlogs. But thanks guys for watching once again. And big shout out to all the channel members. Appreciate you. More channel member Q&A live streams are coming up soon. Make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on anything. I have a bunch of different videos planned out for the future, so stay tuned, and I'll see you next week.